This PC build series is brought to you by Antec, Apotop, and Patriot Memory. Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and it's time for part 12 of my $500 triple boot PC build series. And in this video we will be installing Ubuntu 14.10 64-bit. This is a free Linux distribution that is fairly popular and it seems to work rather well for most people. So the first step of course is to go ahead and download it. You can just go to Ubuntu.com, go to the download tab. Then I usually use the alternative download section to download the torrent version of Ubuntu. That's because it's usually faster than downloading it through one of the file hosts listed on the website. And while it was downloading, I went ahead and looked up Ubuntu flash drive so that we can make a bootable USB drive for Ubuntu. There are a number of different pieces of software that's able to do this, but I use the universal USB installer. So from here, you can just pick the Ubuntu dropdown, choose the ISO file that we just downloaded, and then you just have to select the drive letter of your USB drive and then it will go ahead and transfer everything over similar to how the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool worked. Also like Windows, all we have to do is boot the flash drive, this time choosing the UEFI Ubuntu selection from the boot menu, which you can get to by pressing F11 on the keyboard. Next, we'll just go to install Ubuntu, and from there we could just go through the usual setup prompts, although there are a couple of things that we have to make sure we do. So for example, under installation type, we just have to go to something else, which will give us some more advanced options when it comes to partitioning everything. So when you're at the installation type page that lists all of your partitions, you have to go ahead and select our Ubuntu partition, which remember was the 15 gigabyte partition, which is listed as 16,106 megabytes. So go ahead and click on that one, which is SDA4, click on change, and then for the partition type, we'll go, or excuse me, the file system, we'll choose ext4 journaling file system. We'll go ahead and format it and select the mount point as the forward slash. For the bootloader installation selection, just in the drop down, go ahead and choose the same Ubuntu partition, which in this case is dev slash SDA4. Go ahead and click on install now, then click on continue a couple times, and then you can go through the rest of the installation which is pretty self-explanatory. Like Windows, Ubuntu does install fairly quickly and it does boot quickly after everything is up and running. And that's essentially it with Ubuntu. I didn't have to install any drivers. I got full acceleration out of the video card. Audio worked, ethernet worked, so everything seemed to work just fine right out of the box. And as you can see here, I can boot between Windows and Ubuntu by just choosing the different boot options from the F11 menu. And then the next step now is to go ahead and install OS 10, which is a bit fun, of course. So if you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. That's it with part 12. Tune in next time for part 13.